Okay guys, this is your 4.7 notes and today we're going to be talking about a formula that's called point slope form. And this is going to be a formula that will help you write an equation of a line. So it's kind of an extension of what we were doing in our last chapter, um, but just a little bit more advanced. So today you're going to be given two things. You're going to be given a point, so an ordered pair, and you're going to be given a slope. And it might be simple to graph those, which we're going to do later on in this lesson, but it's a little difficult to write uh, an equation of that line. So we're going to use this formula to help you write an equation with this information. Okay? So this formula is what you're going to keep coming back to, so it's super important. So make sure you write it down correctly. So what you're going to do is you're going to do y minus y1 is equal to m or slope times x minus x1. Okay, so this formula is looks a little crazy right now, but you'll become very, very familiar with it because we're going to use it throughout the entire chapter. So let's go ahead and do some examples here. So it's asking us to write the point slope equation of the line. So in each one of these examples, we're given a slope and we're given a point. So that's why we use point slope form. So let's use this information and plug it into the formula. So we always just start off with writing y. So if you want to even make this a different color, if you have colors, this y and this x are always just in your formula. Okay, so those are going to stay put. Okay, so we're going to write y minus and then our y and our information, this is x and y, is a 1. So we're going to do y minus 1 equals m, so our m is 4, times, and then this x is going to stay put. So x minus, and then our x is a 2. So that's all you have to do. So all we're practicing right now is plugging your information into the formula. And that's all you've got to do. So right now this is the equation of a line in point slope form. So let's try this one. So right now we have a slope and we have a point so we can do point slope form. So here's our m because that's our slope and then this is in your point we have an x and we have a y. So let's plug it in. So we're going to write y minus, what's your y, your y is 5, equals m, oops, oh bum, sorry guys, <laughs> 1 over 3 is your m, and then you're going to do x minus your x, which is 6. So that's all you've got to do. So now we've taken your point and your slope and put it in point slope form. Let's try this one. Okay, so we're going to start with y minus, what's our y? Your y is a negative this time, so be very careful with that. So your formula says to do y minus your y. So you're going to write negative 7 equals your slope, so negative 2, times x minus your x, which is 5. So you've taken your slope and your point and put it in point-slope form. If you wanted to go um, simplify this a little bit more, which I would highly suggest, is remember two negatives make a positive. All right, let's try this last one. Um, if you want to pause me and just do it on your own because you feel like you know what you're doing, that would be amazing. So go ahead and do that and check me when you're done. So we're going to take our point and our slope and put it in point slope form. So our y is a negative 2, so make sure you put that negative in there, equals your slope and then x minus your x which is also a negative, so be careful, so negative 1. And then you can simplify that these are all positive. 
Okay, so easy enough in point slope form. Now let's take it one step further and try to graph these. So let's look at the back page here. We're going to write these in point slope form, but then we're also going to graph it. So we're going to do y minus your y is 3 equals your slope. And then x minus your x, which is negative 2, so minus 2. Now, um, let's try to graph this. So this really doesn't help us yet. This doesn't help us graph anything. I'm going to change these to positive while I think of it. So, but this information is stuff you're familiar with. So the first thing I would do is put this point on your graph. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to start at the origin. We're going to go over negative 2 and then up 3. So there's your first point that they give you. So that's one bit of information they give you. And then they also give you a slope. So hopefully you're thinking, I know how to graph a slope. So from this line, remember slope is always rise over run. So we're going to go um, up 1 over 2 for this slope. And then we're just going to keep going until we have a nice straight line. So eventually we'll be able to graph from an equation, but right now this isn't um, how we need it in order to graph from it. So just use the information that you have and graph that, and that will give you your line. Um, I'd like you guys to try this one and call me over um, once you have it completed. So write the point slope form and then write your equation of a line. Or sorry, do your graph. So call me over when you're finished.